hi guys it is Jadine, or you can call me jay i don't mind i'm cool either way and welcome back to my channel this is episode two in my series hashtag what is life basically a series where i give advice about things that i have gone through and think that these the mistakes that i have made or the experiences that i have experienced will be able to help someone out there uh, the only difference is, I, like I said, I am rebranding it, so I now want to do these discussions from the perspective of a young Christian woman. So I will be including scripture in my um, videos. I've recently been praying to God that he will show me a way to spread his message with more people. Um, and it suddenly clicked for me that I could revive this idea that i had a couple years ago um but just make it a bit more tailored towards um christian values um you don't have to be a christian to enjoy these videos there will be a variety of topics um and i hope that through doing this that i will be able to help someone i have a very small channel at the moment um which hopefully will grow and even if i only have a small audience if i can just help one person with one issue or bring one person to the lord then i'll be great because as much as i love makeup and i love doing my makeup and putting it on my channel my purpose in life is to serve the lord and to spread his gospel so if you guys see me looking down it is because I am. T I have taken some notes because there are a couple things I want to address in this episode, which you can probably tell by the title, and a couple things I want to say just regarding what this new series is going to be. Because there will be a variety of topics, some that are relevant to pe some people and some that are relevant to others. So, if a topic's not relevant to you, you just go ahead and watch the next one. Um, but um, what I'm hoping to do in the future is, as this grows, which I hope that it does um is have uh questions from you guys and i answer them have guests on from the sh or guests on the series um those that are christian those that are non-christian those that are different denominations of christian different religions just to get loads of different points of view across and cater to as many people as i can as you guys can probably tell by the title today's topic is a little heavy we are going to be talking about racism and colorism um the current climate that we're in right now i just feel like there's a lot of outrage and for me to not talk about this as my first topic would be kind of weird um especially as a black woman it's just i need to take a moment because it is hard to talk about these things so if you guys don't know if you don't ha haven't been on social media or you don't follow people who talk about these things on their feed because it's not aesthetically pleasing to them there was a young man by the name of george floyd who was murdered as a victim of police brutality a couple of days ago and it was for a, I believe it was for a bounce check or a bad check not something that is worth losing your life over unfortunately I have seen the video and it was very graphic and if you haven't seen it because it, you've been exposed to it I wouldn't recommend watching it I wouldn't recommend digesting media like that it, it's not good for the soul it was very upsetting to me to watch and i am begging now please stop killing my brothers and sisters please stop killing people who look like me please stop targeting us for our race it is not fair my skin should not be a crime let me say that again my skin should not be a crime and it's crazy to me that i even have to say that and people don't understand that being black is not a threat the amount of force that was used on that man he said i can't breathe and we've heard that before 
and it's happened again it was not necessary he was in handcuffs he was on the floor there was no need for that officer to apply i won't even say that officer's name because he does not deserve the clout it was not necessary for that man to use that much force on that brother it was not necessary at all and just a few weeks back young black man whole life ahead of him jogging exercising trying to stay healthy mentally and physically in a in a time like this when we are in a pandemic and so many people are suffering chased down hunted like prey for his skin tone this has got to stop we are called by the lord to love our neighbor everyone is our brother and i know that's hard to hear because it means the bad people too those with hatred in their hearts we are called to love them as well i'm looking down because i need to look at the verse mark 12 30 to 31 says and you shall love the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind and with all your strength this is the first commandment and the second like it is this you shall love your neighbor as yourself there is no other commandment greater than these there's no other commandment greater than these nothing else is more important than that one love god honor him two love thy neighbor We've been hearing that since we were in primary school, sitting in assemblies, singing songs about it. We know this. I know it's hard. It is hard. It's not easy being a Christian. You know, it's not, it's not, let me tell you, it has not been easy to live life down on my knees. Um, the world wants you to be in it so much that sometimes we forget about love, which is the essential core of God, is love. Love, mercy. Um, there is nothing else. Um, which, speaking of, there is something that I want to address. So I follow a lot of Christian TikTokers. Um, and a lot of them are being asked things like, if your God is so great, and it's something that every Christian has heard in their life, if your God is so great, then why do bad things happen? Why do bad things happen to bad people? And time, time and time again, I've been asked that. Um, and I say to people that, bad things happen to good people and bad things happen in the world because there is sin in the world there is evil in the world if you can hear sorry i'm just gonna go off on a tangent if you can hear people talking this because my sister is outside doing something with her bike i don't even know and then there's also people building so i do apologize for any background noise but yeah back to what i was saying unfortunately that is the reality of the world that we live in there is sin and there is evil you know one in the same and it is hard one of my favorite tiktokers let me just check what her name is Haley julia um go and give her a follow because she does some great she does funny christian content relatable bible studies praise for you she's just an all-around great girl um she responded to one of the many comments that she got that was along the same lines as what i've just said like why does these things happen um and she did also reiterate that it is the fact that there is sin in the world why are you not focusing on me um but she also makes it clear that there is free will because another question you get after that is why not just make everybody be good but if God did that, then there would just be a bunch of robots walking around on their knees, you know, saying, hail Jesus. And that's not the kind of God that he wants. He wants us to come to him out of his own accord. Um, so 
you know we can't be i don't i don't I don't like the question when people ask me that. I'm happy to answer it. I don't like answering it because I feel like people are saying to me, well, your God should do this, this and that. But it is at some point where people have to hold themselves responsible for their own actions. Um, I'm getting it up because I have got a point that I'm going on. So um, James 1, 13 to 14 says, for God cannot be tempted by evil nor does he tempt anyone but each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and enticed so that's just reiterating my point Haley's point is that god does not produce nothing evil and i will say this again for everybody in the back that is not paying attention nothing evil comes from god only good only good and mercy comes from my lord so i don't want to hear that people have free will and unfortunately there is evil in this world and some people abuse it like we are seeing with so many senseless killings towards black people um which is not great and you know things like that are hard to forgive but we must forgive those who trespass against us just how jesus forgives us for our sins that's what he died on the cross for he went on the cross and he died for everybody's sins including that man that just brutally murdered george um which is hard to swallow as humans you know we want to naturally we want to have feelings of hate and jealousy and lust and all these negative things um and it is hard i struggle sometimes um, I'm struggling now and a situation like this is really hard but I just try to remember that love you know I pray for them because I pray that the Lord will fill them with peace and take away these feelings of hatred that they have for someone just because of the color of their skin um, because what kind of a sentencing is that what, what how is that fair be white and you don't get shot. Be white and you don't get racially profiled against. Be white and people won't say that you're you're the reason for a global pandemic. Sorry, I got interrupted because um, my sister came in the room. But um, yeah, I just want to say, because I know there's people hurting right now. Um, there's a lot of people that were outraged by this. Um, and if I can offer some words of comfort, um, the Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and save such as have a contine spirit, which is Psalms 34, 18. Um, I will link all the Bible verses that I say in my description boxes so that you can go and read them for yourselves and the chapters that surround them because I think it's important to read the chapters um so that you can get context because i feel like sometimes people nitpick um verses and that's where we get confusion and people saying that like god contradicts himself which uh, let me just tell you now he does not contradict himself ever not once um he says what he means and he means what he says um but yeah i will link those all below i do want to talk about the black lives matter movement itself so obviously um people know that it's a modern day version of the black panther movement um and i did post like a political um picture on my instagram yesterday and for the most part it was received well by many people so thank you so much for that um but there were some negativities that came um obviously anytime you post anything political someone is going to say something um although they didn't say anything to me um some of my friends and family who are so lovely reposted it on their stories um and they did get some backlash um which they were met with all lives matter there's other races that experience racism other religions that are um you know targeted which is very very true i'm not denying that other races experience racism and that other people aren't prosecuted for their beliefs or what they look like um but 
what I do want to say is the term all lives matter will not be true it won't resonate with me until black lives matter um to use a okay to, <laughs> i'm sure people have heard this but if you haven't hopefully this will help so to use a very overused analogy it's kind of becoming a stereotype now um say you're on a street and there's six houses one house is on fire the fire brigade come and they go to start hosing and putting the fire extinguishers on the house that is in being engulfed in flames but then the neighbors come out and they say whoa 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 what are you doing all our houses are equal all our houses matter should the fire department stop trying to put out the house that is on fire and put their resources on the houses that are perfectly fine that is what the black lives matter is about black people's houses are on fire right now we are being swallowed whole by the flames of hatred and we just want everyone to help us put the fire out unfortunately i know that equality is not something 100 percent equality is not something that can be achieved not in my lifetime not in my kids lifetime not in my great 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 grandkids lifetime should i be blessed with those 100 percent peace on this world cannot be achieved until jesus comes home until jesus comes home what am i talking about until i go home because jesus came back um but it doesn't mean that we can't try doesn't mean that we can't try and spread more love and be more christ-like in this world that is full of so much hatred you know a lot of people have been saying things about how well i'll well, just say one of my friends she is in an interracial relationship and people have been coming at her saying you can't say anything about black lives matter because you date the white man you date the man you date the oppressor um and there is also a lot of people on twitter who are black who agree with with agree with these statements uh you can't be pro-black and not have a black family i don't think who you date who you choose to love should take away from the experiences you have if i date the whitest man on this earth i am still a black woman i've still been told to go back to my own country and i have been born here i have still been told that my hair is nappy or that i should do something with it to make it look more professional i've still been told that my name is too exotic i've still been told that i speak well for a black person whoever i choose today so please do not diminish the experiences of black people based on who they date it doesn't make any sense another thing that i wanted to touch on quickly um not go into as much depth as i have done with this whole blm movement is um also a couple weeks ago there was a lot of outrage on twitter um uk twitter from a lot of our influencers and celebrities i won't name anybody because it's not my right to judge but i will just come on here just to comfort people because i understand how it feels um a lot of colorist statements were made um as a young black girl growing up in a predominantly white um area because my mom just wanted us to have a better life like moving out of I'm gonna say the ghetto and people are gonna have, get on to me and say you're in the UK you don't have a ghetto but you know there are areas here that are not as you know not a great place to raise children um as other areas um and that goes way 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 back to systematic racism and we're not going to get into that today because we will be here until next sabbath so um yeah so what am i saying i've lost my train of thought now okay yeah so i 
did experience some microaggressions, diet racism, whatever you want to call it, um, growing up in school. And it hurts to know that there were black women who, young girls and well, I'm still young. I'm still young girl. People like me look up to um, agreeing with the statements that I heard from other people who were outside of my race. Um, I can literally not count on my fingers how many times I got told that my hair was nappy in school. That I needed to brush it. I needed to put some jam in it back when jam was a thing. Um, or when I put it in i got really into draw skin ponytails in secondary school when i put in draw skin ponytails i had people pull it out i had people saying teachers one time a teacher even said what is this ferret you know just all sorts of things just to make me uncomfortable make me want to have good hair which is not a thing um if the hair's growing out of your head it's good hair so i won't be having that we won't be having any hair type discrimination on this channel not not today not ever thank you um so yeah we had that had that i had <sighs> there was one group of boys in the older year that used to bully me a lot um they used to say things about my skin and how dark i was and it used to make me question my self-worth. Sometimes wish I was lighter. Sometimes wish I was even white. Um, and I want to say unto anybody that feels that way now. Never let another person dictate your self-worth. Because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And if you weren't supposed to be here you wouldn't be. God doesn't make mistakes. You're on this planet because God wants you to be here. You're breathing air in your lungs. Because you are worth it so don't let another person open up their mouth to throw horrible negative terms at you words that will hurt you know i know it's easier said than done because going through it myself i used to cry a lot um but what helped me was one you know reading my bible but for those who are not christian yet and i say yet because i hope that we're all gonna turn, I can take as many people, we're all gonna go, I can take as many people with me to the kingdom. Um, should I be so lucky to get there myself? I wanna be able to make sure I help other people. I don't wanna be one of those people that was just idle. Um, and then my friends asked me why I didn't share the gospel with them on judgment day. I don't want that to happen because that would make me very, very sad. Um, yeah, so, for those of you who aren't ready to have a relationship with Christ, another thing that I did, and it didn't just help me, it helped everyone in my family, my mum still talks about this to this day, is I got uh, the biggest pack of multicoloured post-it notes that you have ever seen in your life. And I would scour through Pinterest, I'm an avid Pinteraster, and find positive quotes to uplift me. I put them on my mirror, I put them in the bathroom, I put them on my door. I put them in places that I would see them um, and you read them. Sometimes they're in the background and, but you are absorbing that information subconsciously and you learn to love yourself day by day. And falling in love with yourself, as cheesy as it sounds, is a very hard thing to do and you do have to take it a day at a time. And I'm not saying that I am 100% there yet but it is definitely much better than it was in school. I have no 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 negative feelings towards my black skin towards my hair i am so happy to be black i'm so proud to be black i am proud of my heritage i am proud of my people i am proud of what we've overcome and still continue to overcome to this day um and to any black girls out there little black girls tell them that they're pretty don't tell them they're pretty for a black girl just tell them that they're pretty full stop that's what they want to hear that's what they need to hear be careful what you say and in my world, everybody is an influencer because if you may say something that hurts one person and that person carries that hate to another. 
be careful what you say guys because you never know how that could address someone okay so in closing to that very heavy topic but i felt like it needed to be said um it wouldn't make sense for me to, as a black woman to not address this topic i do want to leave you with my favorite bible quote which um you know it applies to every day but i think especially now in the time that we're in with what's happening over in america what's happening across the world with this pandemic that it just sums up perfectly so it my favorite verse is romans 8 18 and it says for I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to, compa be <laughs> to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. Um, guys, sometimes I stumble over the Bible. These words be hard, you know. Um, but yeah, what that just basically means is that s the suffering that we feel now we will not even think about it uh when it comes to glory there's no pain that we will experience in this world that will overpower the joy of glory um so yeah i hope that this video has been educational i hope it's made you feel something i hope you've i hope you get something out of it i hope that you like the video because i'm going to continue doing these um i like i said in the beginning um i want it to be like i feed off of my subscribers what i should talk about obviously sometimes there are topics like today that just need to be addressed um so you guys can go ahead and leave me comments down below about what you want me to talk about bible quotes that you want me to talk about bible stories uh topics questions anything like that leave me a comment um you can tweet me you can dm me if you're going to tweet me um all my social medias will be down below but if you're going to tweet me if we could use the hashtag what is life um let's get a movement going let's get people involved i want to help I want to use my voice, I want to use the talents that I was given to help people. Um, so yeah, um, as always guys, if you're not subscribed, what the heck are you doing with your life? God bless and bye.